Salutations, spooks, spirits, inspectors, and welcome back to more Rogue Legacy. <laughs> Lady Winry, the assassin, will begin her journey. Why? Yes, why? Investigate down here. Oh, it's been a while since we've heard from this guy. Journal entry number seven. It is still night. Past every window stares back the same melancholic moon, but I swear I have been here for at least a whole waking day. It must be the adrenaline. I have never felt so powerful yet simultaneously challenged. It is exhilarating to charge through these rooms, cutting down enemy after enemy. In some ways, the foes in this castle feel tailored to me, training me, guiding me, watching me. This may sound crazy, but if this castle can somehow sense those within it, I fear it may hold malicious intent as well. If my assumptions are correct, the design of these halls could all be a ploy, calling me down further into a trap. I must stay alert. Nice. It's a shame I can't get those two monies. Venture there. Because I don't want to waste any uh, health. That a little mini could a little mini person could have just squeezed by. Um. This is a... Oh! 
I forget my I forget my class special. I always forget my class special. Why do I always forget the class special? <sighs> Sir Lancelot, the Lich King. Sir Kenya, it's Lady Stephanie, the Lich Queen. Oh, nice. Lady Stephanie, let us go. Still not a lot to deal with and work around stuff. I should just eyeball the stuff that currently has, like, plus signs and such. That'll definitely give me the eyeballing I need. Or I could have more health. I could have more health. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Uh. Kill with spells better. Bum, bum, dum, bum, ba, do, dum. Let's go with crit chance. Are you tiny? Or maybe it's just because I had the giganticism and I threw me off, just throw me off on the size. I don't think I will take that. 
that boink we're just gonna keep going now because i'm already in the middle of the run and i kind of want my uh i don't want to kill my vibe as it were Excellent, because that's what I want. Except for you. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Room. I 
And then I remembered, oh yeah, I can just convert my health into mana, and then it won't matter. around to the uh... I think yeah that one over there Wow look how rich I am You thought I couldn't do it? You thought you couldn't? the way forward was down there.
Jeez, the amount of difference you're having had is so insane. They make so many of these rooms just whatever. I will break through your defenses, sir. Don't, don't rely too much on them. Entry number eight. From the number of dead adventurers I pass, I have passed in these halls, I have come to the following conclusions. Many did not make take enough provisions with them. I assume many died of hunger. I myself am running low and will have to find more supplies. Two, many are missing clothes, which explains the pant wearing zombies. Three, none of them none no one has made it as far as I, since I haven't passed any corpses in over an hour. Stuck on that wall. Oh my goodness. So much money. <laughs> I was not expecting that. That was my fault. Really? I should. 
should have known. I should have known. Things aren't looking too good for me. <laughs> I was worried. Oh, Alright, the only thing that'll be the death of me so far now is just going to be me being dumb. Uh, or something like that. The chest <laughs> and the silver cape. Excellent. him so I think what I should do instead is uh, explore my options band of bears development time four months this was our second game we ever attempted. It was for the 2009 Dream Build Play Contest. We found out about it pretty late, so we had to play catch up with everyone else. Fresh off the success of DSYP, we decided to go big, stupidly big. And thus, Cellar Door Games was formed. On top of starting a project well beyond our resources and expertise, we also juggled full-time jobs to get this game running. It was pretty sucky. The game featured the Bears system, a bear effort adaptable room system which would change rooms depending on the number of players playing. The bear system didn't just tweak numbers, it tweaked puzzles as well. We ended up with in the top 20, which was good, but not high enough to win anything. Eventually, reality and common sense came back to us, and we realized we had to scrap the project, or in the very least, put it in on definite high twos. The demo boss was freaking cruel. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta get in there and be like, I'm the boss. Well, in the grand scheme, in the end. What it's all going to boil down to is I did the best I could considering the circumstances. Oh, nice. All right, do I have anything else? Nope. The forest, that's it. That's it for the forest. We just have to go for it. I just have to go for it. Here we go. Let's go, Alexander.
least I don't have to worry about the Sonic the Hedgehog curse. So we'll end it here. Thank you all very much for watching, and a ciao for now. Ciao for now.